welcome to Gamerati News Update Weekly Update. I think I just said update. I'm Marcelo and this is the, I'm repeating myself, this is the weekly update that I'll start doing. So Gamerati News Update is kind of back to YouTube. But if you want to follow up our game news as they happen, just follow Gamerati on Twitter or Facebook. Our videos are posted there every day, 8 a.m. Pacific time. Anyhow, so let's see the news that we had, we covered, I covered for you this week. There are four news. The first one is that uh, two more GURPS, uh, uh, classic GURPS supplements are back in print through the print on demand program that uh, Steve Jackson Games runs through their store Warehouse 23. They are GURPS Special Ops which is um, uh, GURPS Special Ops and GURPS World War II. So about GURPS Special Ops first. is a guide to tactical military excursions, including behind the scenes strikes, hostage rescue, guerrilla warfare, and other special ops missions. There's a lot of details on weaponry and information on the world's top unconventional warfare units. The Rangers, SFODD or Delta Force, uh, the SEALs, SPETSNAS, the British Special Air Service, the Sayeret Met Call, which I think is from Israel. So it's compatible with GURPS 3rd edition, but as most of GURPS supplements, it's so chock full of juicy information for the DM or the game master that it, you don't really need to worry about the parts that talk about um, rules. Wow, I'm blanking up. Let me. Coffee. Oh well, so the GURPS World War II is a little different because it's not just a supplement. It's, uh, it, it comes with uh, an adapted, specially adapted version of GURPS Lite. So it is a core rulebook by its own right. So you can use it to play a World War II game. So it provides an overview of the war that transformed the globe, reviews of the nations and armies in the thick of the fighting, and descriptions of their primary weapons and vehicles. What I like the most about, about this supplement, about this book, is that it comes with a modular vehicle design system, so you can tailor equipment for alternate history campaigns or for perfecting the unstoppable tank. Both of those books and all of the other print of the men books you can find at warehouse23.com. Second news is actually two in one, two game bundles from humblebundle.com. The first one is the Lord of the Rings RPG by Cubicle 7. So it's $270 worth of books and supplements and maps, campaigns, the core, core rule books, uh, setting supplements, I said that already, all DRM free, multi-format, they're digital books obviously, and multi-format. So you can choose to download them as PDF, as EPUB, there's some other format that I'm blanking out right now, but anyhow, it's, it, you, it, it gets you covered. However, the, the tablet or the, the computer you prefer to read the books in. After you decide which tier you want, you pay, uh, you pay the amount you desire and you decide uh, how much money goes to Humble, goes to Cubicle 7 and goes to a charity called Water Aid. The second book, but this, this bundle goes for a, a couple more days. The next one goes for 10 more days, I believe. You have the digital tabletop bundle with games, with digital games for Steam. All of them Windows, a lot of them for Mac too, and some of them for Android phones. So for $1, you get Ticket to Ride Complete Bundle, Sentinels of the Multiverse and Mysterium. If you pay more than the average, which right now is a little over $6, you unlock Pathfinder Adventures, Carcassonne, Sentinels of the Multiverse, Shatter Timelines, and a pack of Talisman, uh, the board game and supplements. For 10 or more dollars, you get our Mellow. So this same thing, you choose how to divide your money between a tip for Humble, uh, and between the, uh, the game designers and one of, one of two charities, one of them being Water Aid again. The third one is also from Humble Bundle, which Warhammer 40,000 Space Marine was free up until Friday. It's not anymore, I think by uh, East, Eastern time, Saturday morning, but it's still worth it. The news is still worth it for the summer sale that Humble is making. 
and man it's so many games let me see here there is far cry 5 gold edition for 33 percent off there is stellaris utopia for 50 percent off uh, the Witcher uh, Wild Hunt, The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt for 50% off, XCOM Enemy Within for 75% off, most are actually 75% off, Far Cry Blood Dragons, the game is awesome, for 60%, it's already, it's already a cheap game and it's, and it's 60% off. This is just a sampling that I randomly picked here from the Summer Sale Bundle. There are dozens upon dozens of games with tremendous discounts here. And the last bit of news that I released yesterday, .emu dropped on us this week a teaser trailer for Streets of Rage 4. Let's watch a couple of seconds. It's, it speaks for itself. So yeah, this game is being developed by uh, uh, three companies from France and from Montreal, so French-Canadian, uh, one French-Canadian com company, which is Guard Crusher Games, and two Parisian uh, companies, Lizard Cube and .emu, who is de helping develop and will also publish the game with the blessing of Sega. So Streets of Rage, just a little bit of history here. Streets of Rage is a 1991 Sega beat em up side scrolling arcade style game that was released for the Sega Master System, the Sega Mega Drive, the Genesis in the United States, and uh, the uh, what's the other one? The smaller one, the, uh, the Game Gear, the Sega Game Gear. There were three games between 1991 and 1994, uh, but it seems that .emu and the other companies are drawing more inspiration from, at least from the teaser trailer, I can say they're drawing more inspiration from the first game. What I remember the most about Streets of Rage, besides endless weekends of fun with my brothers, is the soundtrack. It's kind of a very, like, upbeat, dance, electronic music. The composer for the first, uh, for the first um, uh, game was I Yuzo Koshiro, but the later games were also composed, the music were also composed by Motoshiro, Motohiro Kawashima. We only see two of the characters in the teaser trailer, which is Axel and uh, Blaze. Those are the only two characters that feature in all of the three games, the three 90s games. But I'm sure that the, the Streets of Rage 4 will have more characters, probably as add-ons or, or as unlockables, like because the franchise, the three games have a lot of characters, one better than the other, and I'm sure you have your favorite from one of those three games. So we don't have much more information besides the, the teaser trailer. We don't have a release date, we don't have a price, and we don't have, we don't have the platforms. But just keep an eye on Streets 4 Rage, the number 4, streets4rage.com because I'm sure they will have more information there. Or follow these companies on uh, Twitter and Facebook. So yeah, that's it for this week on Gamerati News Update. I'm Marcelo and I see you again either next week here on YouTube or every weekday on Twitter and Facebook. See you there.